I look forward to seeing you again, Marinette Dupin Chang. With season five finished and Miraculous World Paris recently released, there's a long road ahead before Miraculous fans see the end of the hiatus. When the sixth season finally begins, a new story arc will start, including a revamped Paris, a new supervillain, and a team of superheroes ready to defend their city. There's no doubt that fans are excited about this new version of Miraculous, and Zag has recently teased us with some unexplored locations and character designs. Jeremy Zag, the producer for Miraculous Ladybug, released the brief clip on September 21st. The video's tagline states, New assets for new seasons. The phrasing insinuates that the assets in the video could be used for season 6 and beyond, meaning they may have a permanent place in the Miraculous Ladybug world. With the assets seeming so important, we're diving into every detail in today's video. The only power that has value, Chloe, is the power that we use for the common good of the people, and you only use your power for yourself. Zag released the assets in a single post on his Instagram, which contained three separate videos. The first video begins by following a cyclist as she rides down the streets of Paris. In the video, the animation appears enhanced as the 3D design loses some of the cartoonish feel it had before. The cyclist is a faceless character, and her purpose is to direct the camera down the street and to Tom and Sabine's bakery. When she passes the bakery, the camera quickly pans upward to find Marinette lounging on her balcony. It's unclear how much time has passed between the end of Season 5 and the time these assets take place, but time has passed nonetheless. The balcony seems to receive more use than expected, as a bookshelf sits on the wall, a lounger chair is currently in use, and a table sits with a tea kettle ready for a calming drink. Marinette sits in the lounging chair with a book covering her face, alluding to the fact that she may have fallen asleep in the middle of the book. Without her face visible, we can still tell that time has passed due to her outfit change. Marinette's outfit from previous seasons gets replaced by a white shirt, a black blazer lined in pink, pink shorts, and a pair of stockings. Ladybug reached out to her. Miss Bustier reached out to her. So did Adrian and so did I. You all reached out to her. This proves how big your hearts are. If we consider the asset footage in the context of the end of season 5, with most of the Miraculouses returned to their wielders, the French superhero team filled with active heroes and Monarch finally defeated, Paris could be in a new era of peace when season 6 begins. Moreover, Marinette finally has the time to slow things down, partake in hobbies, and rest after months of constantly protecting the city. It could be why Marinette is featured in the assets as resting on her balcony, lost in a quiet moment, and relaxed enough to fall asleep without worrying about potential danger. Zag's second video continues from the first, panning the camera from Marinette's balcony into the neighboring park, inspired by the real-life Place de Vosges. The park is a constantly revisited setting in the series, as Adrian used it as a place to model and villains used it as a place to have battles against the heroes. The asset video strays away from character models altogether and showcases an empty park. It offers a close-up of the central fountain with water running over the statued Cupid, giving a glimpse of the park's carousel. There's also a close-up of the ground, showing how the shadows of the trees move against the ground, giving the illusion that a warm breeze is moving through the park. The camera shifts upon a park bench for a moment before moving to fly through the arcs of a nearby building, showing the contrast between the shadows and the light outside. Everybody knows that Chloe's been cheating, taking advantage of Sabrina and not making any effort compared to the others for years! All in all, the animation looks stunning compared to previous seasons, which is encouraging to see. Many of the comments share the same sentiment, as many people share their excitement about what Season 6 and beyond can look like, hopeful they will be as visibly pleasing as these. And the final video, released by Zag, shows fans an entirely new location. Next door to the Dupang Chang Bakery, a new flower shop has come to Paris, and it looks luxurious. A tree holds up the outside can Canopy, numerous flowers and plants line the shop outside, and a massive sign welcomes potential customers. An interesting detail about the flower shop is that a few ladders rest aside, insinuating that the shop hasn't yet opened or is in the process of renovations. With an entirely new location and one that is such a unique design, it's bound to house brand new characters who will have recurring roles in Season 6 and beyond. The character will likely be a florist or the children of a florist, and they could take up several potential parts of the series. The new character could become a new wielder of a miraculous, as previous seasons like to feature new heroes. They could also become a new antagonist. Glad to see you again, m'lady. <laughs> In previous seasons, Gabriel served as the main supervillain for Ladybug and Cat Noir, but they also had secondary antagonists who made their personal lives more difficult. Chloe used to play the school bully, especially for Marinette, but her father sent her to live with her mother at the end of Revolution. With her now absent from Paris, the character trope of school bully may need to be filled by someone else to continue the same trends as before. However, as the series begins its new chapter, the writers may abandon their usual narrative tropes to try something new, and the flower shop could offer them the possibility to do so. Character design aside, it makes sense for businesses like flower shops to begin frequenting Paris. 
At the end of Recreation, Miss Bustier takes over as the city's mayor and begins to transform it through her new laws and ordinances. One initiative Miss Bustier has in place prioritizes the environment as people have replaced gas-based forms of transportation. The law also prohibits them from taking more from the earth than they can replenish, which prevents resources such as garden-based foods from being exhausted. It's a positive change of events as Paris has a history of pollution-based problems throughout the series. In Megaleach, Mayor Bourgeois tried to cut down the city's trees and tried to get away with selling bottled air to willing customers. In action, the special episode released after the main story of Season 5, Marinette and her friends help stop a businessman from continuing to pollute the river with his plastic products. And it doesn't cost a lot of money to make. That's why companies like you started to make lots of items we use every day made of plastic. Needless to say, Parisian citizens made a great choice when they elected Miss Bustier to be their new mayor. Hopefully she can continue to lead the city to bigger and better things now that corrupting forces like Gabriel and the bourgeois family have lost their influence. Her choice to prioritize the environment is bringing new businesses to the city. When season 6 begins, Paris may be one of the cleanest and most eco-friendly cities in the world. It's always possible that these assets may not make it into the final rendering of season 6 and beyond. However, with Jeremy Zag releasing them on his social media, there's a good chance that we'll be seeing these refreshed designs and locations in the future. Marinette has embraced her many changes through a new appearance and it's refreshing to catch her in a vulnerable moment, where she can rest peacefully knowing that she did everything she could to save Paris and and be its most remarkable defender as Ladybug. With Marinette's new character design in mind, we will most likely see similar assets for other characters within the following year. Adrian has complete freedom for the first time and his design will undoubtedly change to reflect his newfound individuality. Their fellow characters, especially their friends like Alia and Nino, are sure to have changes to their designs too as they move on to 10th grade in Miss Bustier's new school, a new environment much like the flower shop. The school receives some attention at the end of recreation as a place that takes a new approach to education, as its students are permitted to study whatever they like on their own time, giving them the room they need to explore every option they gave for their futures. More importantly, it will be a place for Marinette, Adrian, and their friends to work toward their dreams while working part-time as Paris's beloved superheroes. But we're not superheroes! We'll see about that. Time for the owl! Hoo -hoo. You're right! Comrades of the Resistance, it's time to come out of the shadows! In the following months between now and the end of next year, these assets could become fleshed out through released art, trailers, and music. Ladybug and Cat Noir have grown a lot in the past five seasons, and now that the story is beginning a new chapter, these assets give a glimpse into who the main characters have become and how Paris has changed through their influence. Cat Noir, we have to do like them! We have to keep fighting! They're not giving up? And we're not giving up. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads. We need more plastic. Lots and lots of plastic. Finally, some wise work. Are you serious, m'lady? I couldn't be any more serious, kitty.